Hi Taurus, welcome to New Era. My name is Emma. Uh, I just <laughs> needed to sh check if the microphone was on. Um, it's a bit in my face here today. There. This is your love reading, Taurus, uh, starting today on the 23rd of November, but I set the date to somewhere uh, towards the end of November until towards the end of December. So that's the time frame, give or take. I have asked for the most inspirational, uplifting love story that I can find for you at this moment. And I'm starting with just one overall picture to what's going on with you. Uh, I'm listing all the decks in the description box down below if you're interested. So what is going on for Taurus, please? Sensuality. It's a beautiful card. So your cup is overflowing for sure. Um, we have the rainbow seeping out of your cup. You're holding that cup there. Uh, it, it, you have a bird under your arm. The bird usually for me comes with the messages and also speaks about freedom. We have a little child that's playing underneath you and then there's... <clears throat> I don't really know what those are called, like half half body of an animal and half um, human. And then we have a person lifting the veil in the back there. Very interesting. So let's see where this is going. So let's find out your basic energy for this upcoming month. First card out, and then one, and then four. Oh my god. So usually we get two cards for the basic energy here, but apparently you get six. Taurus, so let's see what's going on here. Um, we have challenging times, number five, and then daydreams and decisions, number seven, and then seek, number nine, and then confront. Uh, 18 and share the love three and control eight interesting so each card will tell a story <laughs> so what I'm getting with this card is that you're protecting yourself against somebody that is a bit grumpy like I see the shield today it almost looks like a mirror, like you're holding up a mirror to somebody and to like show their face. Like look, look yourself in the mirror. Do you see how grumpy you are? Like you're wanting to tell, some, it's not you. I don't feel like it's you. And, and be honest with yourself if this is you, but I don't, I don't pick that up. So I think that this is a person. And there's a bit of a shield, like a, a bit of shielding ness going on. Like you, you're holding up the shield to protect yourself a bit. And at the same time as you're holding up that shield, you're, you're presenting your person, to, like almost looking themselves in the mirror, like saying, okay, so do you see how grumpy you are? And it is the challenge card, challenging times. And with number five, which is all about, um, I mean, it's a great opportunity for change here. Great opportunity for change. It usually comes out of a trying situation. It's a it's a purple border, so it speaks about a spiritual growth. There's there's a lot of growth that is in this that we can find here. We're gonna go either we're gonna find the rest of it out with all of these cards on the table, or we can go deeper and find out what this is all about. And then we have number seven here: daydreams and decisions. So I don't know, uh, Taurus, this could be you are like withdrawing a bit with this daydreams and decisions today. I feel it's very related to this that you are. So what I'm getting here is a person who's in a relationship. And you're thinking about uh, if you're going to pull out of it, like if you're not going to stay in this relationship anymore. 
and like praying for answers, daydreaming, thinking about what you're going to do. And if you just met somebody, this could be the same, like whether you've been with this person for 10 years or you've been with this person for two months, I get the same energy. It's like you're thinking about pulling out, like withdrawing your energy from this. It's a green border, so we, we're talking about healing here. Something is becoming whole. So whatever you're like... Evan, even though Evan, even though so maybe somebody's name is Evan, um, even though it's it's a struggle and it's like something you need to overcome and something you need to figure out and all of that when it's a bit tough in the very beginning, there is healing that's going to take place within this and after this. And then we have number nine, which talks about ending, and we have two birds talking about freedom. Uh, this, this is you going within, really connecting with your inner being and really being with yourself and trying to figure your own journey out. And we have two beautiful birds like flying over you. Um, so I feel like whether you decide to stay in this relationship or whether you decide to, to separate from it, the both of you are going to be happy. It might not be happy at first glance, at first, like nobody likes that first conversation. Nobody, nobody ever likes that, you know, let's separate and let's go our different paths from now on. Like if you're, if you're the person who needs to have this conversation, that sucks. And if you're the person on the other end that need, needs to hear it, it probably always double sucks. Um, but they were never your person. You were never, sorry, you were never their person anyway. Because if you don't feel it in your heart that you're supposed to stay there, you're not their person. And even though at first glance, you have to be the braver one that maybe takes a step back. At the end of it, you are not their person. They're going to go on and find another person. So what I see with those two doves there talking about peace and talking about freedom is that the both of you are going to find happiness. Let's see if this is like finding happiness because you're coming back together again or if this is happiness going your separate ways. We have a nine there though. So we, we speak about endings and uh, most people think that and, con and consider and I probably would at, at a lot of times as well that an ending is going your physical separate ways but not necessarily does it have to be that way? You could go your separate ways for just a little while to just regroup and just collect yourself a bit. Um, but then coming together, the end is what the the end is about what hasn't worked. And now we can step into something new. But let's see if that's the if that's the case. Um, yeah, so much about. It's going to be interesting to see what else is coming out, like whether there's a new relationship on the table eventually here, going deeper, um, or what is coming here. But this is the actual conversation. Confront. I see like this is your person standing outside here, like watching the night sky, and this is you sort of taking a deep breath, going, okay, I just have to have this conversation. I need to confront them, and I need to tell them what's going on. And... You can, by the look at them, even though, like, this is interesting, because do you see how they are your shadow? That's very interesting. They are your shadow. Another way of looking at it, because I'm being sort of, I'm being told to look at it in the reverse. And first I was like, you, they... You're their shadow? What? Yeah, and then it's like, okay. You're standing in their shadow. So however this is going right now, it's it's not working. The, the, the way that it, it is right now is not working. 18 is really... Uh, in, it's, it, it's a bit of a tricky number. It's not tricky in the sense of the number. But it's like we have new beginnings there with number 1. And then we have endless possibilities with the number 8. 
And then when you combine them, we have a number nine, which then again talks about endings. So there's so much mixed in here with like, okay, we can have a talk, should we go our separate ways? We should definitely separate this situation. What doesn't work needs to end. To then perhaps step into new versions of yourself and come together, like we can so upgrade our selves and we can upgrade that we, but the person that we're with can definitely grow so much that it feels like it's two different people coming together again. Still, I don't see like an, this is how it is. Um, so with this number three today, share the love. Usually what comes out is that you then share your love. But today I'm very drawn to that heart in the middle with a little crack in it. And it's not like it's about to open and light is coming out. This is a crack in the heart. It's a crack in the foundation. It's a crack in the love. And I think that you just felt like you've been giving and giving and giving and really have shared of yourself. But it just does not, it's just not enough. I'm sorry for being the, the I hate these. Hate is a strong word, but like, I really don't like these readings. I want to be the one that sort of gives you the message of just, it's not, it's not over yet though. Uh, and then control number eight. So as for right now, so what I'm getting with this card is that you have this person between your eyes, like the way you look at them with your intuition, with your, like the way you feel around them, the way you feel around your situation, um, what you, what vibes you're picking up from them. Uh, it's really, really affecting you. And I see these as eagle, like eagle wings. It's a very, very powerful Yeah, so there is a bit of like mind control and it's a bit of uh, perhaps even codependency going on here. Um, when you're on your not best behavior, they are sort of feeling codependent on you. And when they're not on their best, best behavior, you sort of fall right into that. And so I don't think that either one can take, in terms of the codependency, I think you're equally... You're equally to be responsible here. Um, I just feel, Taurus, like you're the one who's been trying to sort sort things out. I mean, wanting to move forward, but they're sort of not really coming. It's just becoming a mind game. I'm getting a lot of... Okay, so definitely I need to go deeper here and understand what this is. Just the overall picture with what... what is this a separation? Hmm. Yeah, so I feel so these are your thoughts. This is like you don't you don't know what to do. Two winter here first. This is like, go, do I go in that direction or do I go in this direction? If I go in that direction, what's going to happen then? If I go in this one, what's going to happen then? Uh, two winter, two, two there is all about a conversation and communication and relationships. And perhaps this is a conversation that you've been trying to have with your partner, but it's not really going anywhere. It's like stale and stagnant. Um, if it's in your mind, you're not really going anywhere there either. On the bottom, it says indecision is holding you back. Make the choice that's best for you rather than trying to please others. And then I can't see. Uh, feeling trapped between the intellectual and the emotional. So you're somewhat like really, really hooked in on this energy with this person.
It's like you're looking at fun. You're looking at play. Like you're looking at whatever that is. Is that a citra? I would say in Swedish. I, I'm not too sure what. Mandolin. No. That type of a string uh, guitar thingy. Um, like you're looking towards the fun and the music and the play. And it is a lot of magic here. I almost see you as a butterfly. This you're you're a, a fairy. Obviously, with this fairy tarot cards, but it's like you have butterfly wings. So there is a huge transformation going on for you right now. And I feel like that is in life. Not necessarily just with this person, but because you're going through such a transformation right now, that's probably why this relationship has started to be a bit rocky because you're not the same anymore, uh, but you're very torn as to like follow what to follow. It's like you're trying to you're trying to see it all the way through about separating from this relationship, and you don't take it like all the way there, and then you think about like staying in this relationship, and you make it an 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 intellectual discussion or debate when really it's not about that because you will never find your you will never find your decision out of trying to make an intellectual decision based on an unbalanced emotional state if that makes sense like you need to find that we need to find this you need to find freedom, you need to find balance, you need to find peace. To almost try for a bit not to decide what to do and to just sort of be with yourself for a bit. Almost almost like pretend that this choice is not here or decision is not here. Pretend almost even if you if you can that this relationship is not here and focus way more on yourself, trying to get yourself as in as much balance as possible and then dare dare Taurus to walk that line to walk walk the plank walk it all the way through like all the way till the end to see like okay can I do this and then we have eight of summer and eight is all about um again strong eight here Endless possibilities, the infinity sign. What you sent out is now coming back. What you sent out is now coming back. And on the bottom it says, um, the desire for a more meaningful life. Realizing that it's time to move on. Choosing to make major life changes. Oh boy. So, it's like you're taking your backpack and you're, do you see that? It's a fairy with um it's a fairy with her back towards us and she's holding a backpack or like a bag. She's packed her bag and then she's like off off into the woods, like going out on, on a little adventure on, on her own. And then it's so interesting because through those woods here comes like, so I see light, light wings like angel wings or butterfly wings or fairy wings or whatever. It's wings. It's light, light wings. So from this card, it's like, okay, you want to try, you want to move forward and you want to try happier wings. Like you, you want to fly higher. You want to go into a brighter energy. Always, always, always free will, Taurus. Always your choice at the end of the day what you decide to do but it looks from the look at it from it is that you would feel better in leaving the situation can we clarify both of these just go deeper here and see Hmm, it's so interesting because now when you look at the sensuality card that you got in the beginning, I see that I look, a, <laughs> I was playing with my little boy here before and I got all tangled up in my hair. I look I'm, like I'm right out of bed. <clears throat> I'm 
that it matters. Okay, and I just I'm being guided to back to this card, and and yes, like when you look at it now, it's sensuality. Yes, your your cup is overflowing. Your cup is full of love. You have so much love to give. And then there's a bird next to you. You're closing your eyes. You're shutting your eyes. And there's a bird under your arm coming with a message and usually coming with freedom. And there's a person in the back there that's been lifting the veil. It's almost like they're giving you a chance to get out. But... So, Taurus, I don't feel like you're not giving of yourself. You're not giving of your love. You are. So listen to the birds. Maybe literally there's been birds around you sort of wanting your attention or your inner being is really wanting your attention, guiding you through all of this right now to a more meaningful and uplifting path. Okay, that was it. Okay. So what else do we have for Taurus? How can we guide them? Whoa. This is crazy. All of these four cards, and you've seen how much I've shuffled, and I, I, I do shuffle like the card, the deck in between. It's so interesting when the same cards come out like this, but you might have a strong connection to Aries because I did the Aries reading before and I can't remember now if this came out in the extended reading or, or whatnot, but this, all these four cards, all these four cards came out for Aries. Um, darkest fears, choose your battles success and growth and open up so i feel like this is so much about what's like it, it is the darkest fears like you're so there's so much activity like we have the moon cycles there showing from from like a lunar eclipse to whatever that is called um just all the cycles around the moon but this is also like so much thinking so much mental thinking going on and you're taking it like when i say dare to dare to stretch it all the way to like the end like to not to the end but like if if the decision is like should i leave this relationship to dare to think of it as you're gonna leave it and see what that does to you see like dare to go there to think it and then to go all the way out to think, no, I'm going to stay with this person. It doesn't mean that you have to stay with this person forever and ever. But for now, the new decision is to stay with this person. Because the indecision, I feel, is the one that drives you crazy. Because in the indecision, that energy becomes more and more... Um, you will just get more and more evidence of why you can't decide. The law of attraction will yield to you stuff that will prove to you why you should stay. And then it will prove to you why you should go. And then again, it will prove to you why you should stay. And then it will prove to you why you should go. Like the indecision energy will attract that. That's why I'm saying dare to go like to the end of this, to, to, to think it out, to think it through. But how you get to the how you get to the best decision and where it sort of almost doesn't feel like a decision, it doesn't even feel like a choice, is when you are putting yourself in this situation where you feel completely balanced, and then you'll just know what to do. So there's a lot of mental. There's a lot of like, what's gonna happen if I break this off, and. Here we have choose your battles and it's like, <laughs> I almost see this as the high council, like we're, we're bringing in the, the heavy guard here. Like, okay, okay, people, what should I do? And perhaps it, this even is like you're gathering your friends, you're gathering family members, you're gathering your, your if this is you uh, having like help from the non-physical 
this is like you gathering the gang like okay let's meet up here can you please help me i need to just i i need some advice here and and facing literally facing the different faces there's a gray one and there's a green one and there's a golden one and you're leaning towards the golden one i just think that you don't know quite 100 percent what the golden one is like you don't know how this is going to play out and you can't you just have to follow that internal guidance you just have to follow that nudge what is it telling you to do where are you happy are you the most grand person together with this person or do you seem to shut down and you know sometimes people say it's like well if I just, I mean, and I was like this forever and ever and ever. Like I took on the responsibility for other people for the longest freaking time. If they were, if I was behaving badly and if I had bad thoughts, if I was, you know, any, in any shape or form crappy, I needed to go and fix myself. If the other person was crappy, I needed to go fix myself. Because then I, I figure, you know, then I will attract that bullshit from that person Never once did I say, you fuck off for a bit here. You go fix yourself. That is your responsibility that you're bringing that to this table. And either or, what I feel around this is like we need a break so that you can become like clear again and you get out of the whole, what should I do? What is on the table, which is beautiful, is success and growth and open up. And like we see that and I keep wanting to show you this card. We see that the both of you eventually, whether you end up together or you go your separate ways, are going to get happy. You're going to get your freedom and you're going to get your peace. But it doesn't come from trying to intellectually work it out and it doesn't come from you changing yourself even more so that the other pers person changes. It might seem like I'm saying that. I'm saying you find your inner balance and it will just be clear. It will just be clear if you should break this off or if you should just, you know, start over. But then literally it has to be to start over because you ca we can't go back. We need to move forward. And whatever happens, there's success and growth. You are going to, you are going to find. It's so interesting. So this was showing up as some, something completely different for Aries. Success and growth. It's so interesting because this tree, let's call it the tree of life. Not much life there. So it looks like just a minute ago, these leaves, which is so beautiful because they're a little heart, little leaf heart. And so a minute ago, it was like this tree of life was just empty. It was just this empty tree with absolutely no flowers or green or you know anything and just recently it's like you've started to think in a way or you started to meditate or gravitate towards yourself more or whatever whatever it is that you're doing you're finding the love again you're finding the green again and I don't th that is not the answer like you're finding the love with this person I think this is more you're starting to see hope again you're starting to see like whether you separate or whether you stay together it's like it, it's not just your you're not here anymore maybe you are every once in a while but i think like this is what we're heading towards understanding that there is going to new, be new flowers on that tree each spring you know each spring we are seeing those leaves we are seeing those that that flowering again taking place it's going to happen. And then we have the open up. It's like for the first time probably ever. I did just that sigh like like okay, we're going to we're going to be in a situation where you open up again when you, when you're not so closed off and you're not like being so in your mental mind. This is coming. This is coming. It is a bit like 
up and down and a little roller coastery and little very much a mental game right now and but this like in the midst of all of this there's some love here there's some reconnection with yourself and some try finding a new path for yourself that's the third fourth number eight strong strong indicator of power and strength and endless possibilities and the infinity sign like we're it never ends like it's not the end of the world we're it always continues on some final advice here and then i'm going to move into the extended and see what else i can find there for you seek the truth oh so yeah you see how two minds are becoming one so with this particular situation you could read this out in two ways because of your p particular situation here i feel like this is like two minds are becoming one this is like when you are putting your mind together with the higher with the higher mind to find out the answer seek the truth uh this could also because usually i read this card out as this it could also be like when you want another person to come together with you like you want you want them to blend with you to become one mind and maybe that is a wanting for you maybe you really truly want this to work and you want you guys to be a team and to be one mind um but to figure that out you need to seek the truth okay i'm gonna in the extend if you feel like uh, what i don't know what you're talking about then this is not your story if you feel like everything fits this is my story then um you f might find it um beneficial for the extended reading which is in the link in the description box down below if not thank you so much for watching taurus and i i hope like you feel it will work itself out it will work itself out you will get there okay let's see what else we can find for you in the extended cheer you up a bit hopefully <laughs> okay thank you so much for watching bye